know that smile, you know that girl. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Chuchin on a Monday afternoon. And the days of September are dwindling fast. Hard to believe, huh? Where the hell did summer go? Hmm. Up here on the uh, Street of Shattered Dreams today, aka the uh, Street of Broken Dreams, making our way up to the uh, Avenue of Love. And it is a uh, Chamber of Commerce beautiful afternoon here. I wouldn't have given a plug nickel for that, given the way it was uh, overcast and that mist when I went to work this morning. But uh, it is certainly glorious now. And uh, just a beautiful time of year. People have written me, well, what kind of summer did you have there, uh, Murphy girl? And the reality is we had a very, uh, you know, we didn't really have any of those 100 degree days. It doesn't mean we won't get them. You know, if you follow the Rosie O'Kelly channel, you know that we're prepping to go to, Jen and I are prepping to go to uh, San Diego on Saturday. We're going to have a glorious time down there. And it's supposed to be into the mid and upper uh, 80s and possibly 90. But then by midweek, it's supposed to go down, down, down. It'll be comfortable. Looking forward to that. You know, guys, when I do the, uh, when I come on here and I usually talk about transgender topics and, uh, and things on the uh, Murphy channel, because the reality is I do get a lot of mail and I do get a lot of girls because I've been kicking around. 20 years on the transition trail and I'm always astounded when you know when I see girls moving ahead and starting their transition and they don't they don't seek advice from anyone else and then they end up uh, having all kinds of massive problems and they just well for back of lack of a better way they just fuck up their uh, their early days of transition and then it seems like they take the next uh, five or ten years trying to undo all the uh, all the damage they did when they started out the uh, started out the wrong way case in point there's uh, one uh, one gal went up to uh, I don't know if she's a gal or not I think she's just dressing and playing the part went up to uh, Minnesota you know, left, you know, Dahmer, you guys know Dahmer there, Dom and Dahmer, and, uh, you know, turned her back, ditched her family, went up to uh, Minnesota, and now is crying the blues, you know, because she had to play the uh, sugar daddy syndrome, and she doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a dollar in her, uh, dollar in her pocket. Let me get, uh, let me get Mandy undickered here. Mandy, come here, Mandy. There we go. Mandy gets uh, all dicker just like uh, Wolfie did. But, uh, you know, doesn't have a pot to pee in and left a, has left a broken trail of disgruntled roommates that haven't been paid, contracts that haven't been honored. And the whole thing is just a mess. And you just see the life gone down the tubes. And you just feel like there should be some type of intervention program where you're transgender because the amount of damage that you can do to yourself and your family and your future, especially if you're transitioning in your 40s and 50s, sort of in the prime of your life, can really, uh, really be brutal and take a uh, take a huge toll. And. Uh, to watch this person, uh, to watch this person struggle is just amazing. Because so much of the uh, so much of the pain is self-inflicted. It's almost like she'll get on there and do her uh, videos, and uh, she will just be astounded. Got some bum over here, <laughs> hooting and hollering at me. Hey, Miss Tits. Seems astounded that the life is so hard when you transition. Well, it's really brutal when you transition the wrong way, as she is, uh, as she's finding out. You know, guys, there's a right way to do stuff and a uh, wrong way to do stuff. 
And uh, I tell you, she's already talked about her her son's birthday's already passed. And uh, now we're coming up to hol holiday time with the Halloweens and things like that. And the Thanksgivings and the Christmases and all those traditional times with the uh, family and stuff like that. And even though this, uh, this gal purportedly has uh, hooked up with a... Uh, you know an older guy up there like a sugar daddy the reality is you can see that it's done nothing at all to uh, to make her happy and that's the uh, that's the reality of it well Mandy just seems insistent today on getting dickered here we gotta play that game there we go <sighs> And I'm always astounded when the girls are so shocked that life is life is not going real good now, and they try to soothe themselves with these ridiculous uh, relationships, do anything for a roof over your head, and uh, then wonder why life is so shitty. And the reality is, you just didn't do things the uh, the right way. There's always a price to be paid for being a transgender. It's just a question of how much you will pay. And over time, I've noticed that the, uh, that the smart people tend to get their ducks in a row beforehand, but let there be no doubt. We all go through the agony of uh, you know the uh, supposed disappointment that we've caused others and the family upsets and job upsets and uh, it's really really tough to uh, to deal with that's for sure anyway it's part of the reason I always say when you're transitioning think beforehand think about what could happen think what happens when you get cut off from your family and you move a thousand miles away and uh, holidays come because I tell you when you when you get the, the uh, bit in your mouth for the first couple months and you've come out and you've done all that, you've broken the ice and everybody knows I'm transgender, everybody goes through the uh, shock and horror of what's become of uh, dad or what's become of, uh, you know, the husband and stuff and then, you know, you get into this false sort of feel-good period where oh I'm excited I'm free I'm away from the uh, family responsibilities I can be the girl I always want to be when the reality is you can never be the girl you want to be under that uh, under that type of situation because you've done so much damage you've left such a trail of destruction and when you leave your uh, you leave your male world and you think oh the job's gone you know so far so good no, I'm still working, the company's still using me. Well, it's like the guy that falls out of a hundred story window and at the uh, 80th floor down, you know, it's all good. I'm all right, I'm still surviving, right? Little does he know that uh, in 80 floors he's gonna be flat or the pancake. So far, so good, you know? Well, the reality is you never really know what's around that bend until you take the jump. And uh, Dummer has now come to a point in her life where she sees that her job opportunities are reducing because we have no protections under law as transgender people in the marketplace. There's no, there's no law that protects for equal rights and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, smart corporations, they, they're not going to call you in and say, look, we don't like, you know, what's, the, what's this? What's this becoming a girl bullshit, right? This isn't gonna fly here. Get your shit and get out of here. They know that uh, potential lawsuits and lawyers, so what they do is they give you the little freeze out, right? The temperature starts to gradually go down as, uh, as the weeks go by. And if you're a freelance uh, camera operator and stuff like that, you find that your uh, job opportunities are fewer and fewer between and uh, when you first flew the coop and thought oh life is going to be great as a transgender girl you assumed your income would be the same you'd have no problem supporting the uh, crew back at the uh, back at the mothership and stuff but now reality sets in now you're uh, now you're grabbing on to any uh, any prey that comes swimming by and stuff and that's what it is to support yourself and get by and uh, you know who suffers the most 
the family and the people that you left behind. Sure, it's difficult. It's hard medicine to take to hear this stuff. And week after week, I get people sending me postings and, uh, and uh, links to watch videos and stuff for updates. It's just horrifying sometimes to, uh, to watch. There's a right way to do stuff and a wrong way. Both ways have some pain, but it's a question of how much pain you're going to inflict on others. If you love your family, you know, your kids didn't ask to be born and stuff, and you have a responsibility to them. This is why I always encourage all girls, no matter how bad the battle is, no matter how bitter the fight, no matter how many times you get kicked in the teeth and the head, give people a chance to transition along with you and rediscover rediscover yes find out again what a great person you are when after being kicked in the head 217 times you're still up there dishing it out and helping your family and doing what you can in the way of support and expressing your love for them every single day okay that way when the time comes and the months pass and they're well you know, we've been a little rough on Dad. You know, Chelsea's birthday's coming up. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we just call Dad on? The, you know, the ice starts to melt a little bit. And when you're a thousand miles away, far off in another state, and your stuff is uh, comes down to a weekly uh, a weekly phone call if you're lucky, or you got a major rebuilding job that I don't envy you. You know, when doing that. Hey, that's my two cents worth. You know, I don't, uh, I don't go out and seek these situations. But like I say, I do get linked to them. I am asked to uh, comment on them stuff, and I do care about every girl that's transitioning out there. Take it from a girl that did a lot of stuff wrong. Yes, the Murphy girl it took me a long time to right the ship. If I could save you one month of the pain that I endured, it would all be worth. Thanks so much for watching today.